Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the camera clipping in Corona Render. This parameter can help us to remove objects from the render without actually hiding them. This is especially useful if we still want those objects to affect lighting in our scene. With the camera selected, we're going to scroll down to the environment and clipping section. Then check the enable option and also the show in viewport option. This last option will show the near and far planes in our camera. We can see these planes as lines in the top viewport. Anything before the near plane or beyond the far plane will be clipped away from the camera view, showing only what is in between the two planes. As I want to remove the object that is close to the camera, we're going to start changing the value of the near plane. Let's try 180 centimeters. We can see that the clipping is actually cutting the geometry. And now there is a black element in front of the camera, which it doesn't really look good. Let's try a few other values like 200, 250, or 300. Each time we update the value, we can see how the planes in the camera update. And this is the guide that we can use to update the values and avoid cutting through the geometry. Now, for the far plane, if we change the value to 500, anything beyond that point will be invisible to the camera. And if we start increasing the value, we can see how the objects are visible again. This parameter is especially useful for big scenes where we only want to show some of the objects in the distance. The next option is the environment range. This controls the 3 ds Mats native fog effect or the C depth render element range. To see how this works, we're going to add a C depth render element and in the render element options, we can find use camera environment range. When this is checked, the values of the camera will be used for the render. This is really useful when you have multiple cameras in the scene and each one requires different C depth values. After we enable it, we can see how the near 200 and far 700 are used for the render. If we change the far value to 1500, we can see that nothing is updated. In this case, we need to uncheck and check the use camera environment range option to refresh it. Because of this, what I recommend is to use the mean set and mat set values of the render element for a real-time output, and then use the same values for the camera settings. Using these values, we can see that the C depth render looks the same. The last option is the Corona physical size, but I'm going to show you how to use it in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, and thank you for watching.